guys, I just got done. My lips look, I look like a blowfish. Um, Idols is CC Lesson 3. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to try something different that I've never done before. Um, have you guys ever heard of like semi-permanent makeup or permanent makeup? So like it's in the realm of eyebrow, uh, microblading, people do eyeliner and they also do their lips. So I've gotten my eyebrows microbladed twice before in Korea and y'all know I do got my face tat so I'm experienced with needles in this area. Today I'm going to do some lip blushing. But before I get my lips tattooed, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. For those who don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community for creative people to explore their interests and learn new skills. You can learn anything from language, photography, art, business, cooking, creative writing, animation, the list is pretty much endless. I've been using Skillshare for over a year now to learn and practice Korean and Japanese. I first heard about it from one of my besties and I pretty much haven't looked back since. It's been over a year that I've been on here, but she's been using it for like two or three years at this point. She's way into creative writing and that's what she uses it for. I tend to focus more on foreign languages and try to practice conversational. Kim Ki Hwan and Courtney respectively are my favorites. So if you guys are interested in trying Skillshare for yourself, the first 1,000 subscribers to click the link in the description box below get one whole month of free premium access to trial Skillshare for yourself. So come and join our learning community. Now I've always liked my lips. I've never had like any problems with, oh, I wish they were bigger. I wish they were fuller. I wish uh, they were more plump or anything like that. But I do hate how pale they are. Like it's butterscotch like the rest of my face. And in these days, you know, I'm always wearing my mask. So I don't really put lipstick on because it's just going to smear anyway. And I miss... I miss wearing makeup, so I'm gonna make it more permanent. I found a place, it's in London, and uh, it's rainy outside, so vlogging in the rain is not gonna be the most fun, but they've allowed me to film some of the process, and I'm gonna show you how it heals from, you see the before, then you'll see like immediately after, uh, maybe one day after, two day after, three days after, four days after, five days, healed, all that stuff. So you can see what the process is like because I know it's going to scale up, it's going to peel, they're going to get swollen and I'm going to be talking like this and I don't know how bad my lips are going to look. <laughs> so if you guys want to see this process, let's go get my lips tatted. This color scheme is still coincidence by the way, I did this on purpose. Show and support any way you can. I just got done. My lips look, I look like a blowfish. Um, ah, you better stop, stop! Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna talk to y'all more about what this process was like when I get in the house and I can take this mask off because I'm not supposed to be talking. All right, y'all ready to see how crazy I look? Please promise you won't laugh. I look like I got sausages on my face. This is what they look like right now. But yeah, um, I figured I'd talk to you guys about the pain a little bit. So they do give you numbing cream. And they let that sit for like 25 to 30 minutes, but I don't think my lips cared about the numbing cream because it went away. Like I felt my lips again and I felt everything, 
By far, the most painful part is like the top and right there. That hurts like a biatch. You know, I've gotten, I have like five tattoos on my body. I see you got a little bit of a, the ink or whatever here. I have my eyebrows tattooed twice. I just got this one. This was by far the most painful thing. It was very sensitive. And you can see it's already starting to peel a little bit. So I need to put some ointment on it. So I'm going to show you guys what I look like when I wake up probably over the next week or so. So you can see this is immediately after I just got back home and this is what they look like. Um, she tells me that like, you know, the color is going to change and everything. And once the swelling goes down, the color will be more like concentrated. So to be patient, trust the process, all that stuff. Um, I got to keep it moist, but not like too moist because you don't want to strip the pigment. I got to avoid salty foods because I don't want my lips to burn. So these next few days are not going to be fun, but uh, it's going to be worth it. I, I swear. I can't wait to see what the color looks like. I'm lucky I was wearing a mask because I would have walked around with these sausages on my face. It's like it's effort to keep my bottom lip up. This this is a workout. I just want to let it hang like, hello love. I've got too much filler in my lip. <laughs> let me stop. Okay, bye. So yeah, um, I will be back in the morning to show you guys what it looks like after one night's sleep. Bye. All right, y'all. So it is morning of day two. Um, just got my tattoos, lip, my lips. What? Just got my lips tattooed last night, and this is what they look like first morning. The swelling went down a lot. They're still swollen. They still feel tight. Um, it's uncomfortable to drink water a little bit, but yeah, this is uh, day two. All right, guys, this is day three. They're very tight and dry, but the swelling is gone. It also seems like they're getting darker in color, which I know is gonna happen before they peel off and then after a while, they're gonna get light again after they start to peel, but it's definitely darker for now. She did tell me you're gonna see some changes in color over the next few days, so this is when they get darker. Yeah. Forgive me, I'm a little bit under the weather. I'm a little irritated because it's the one time I had to take my mask off and it was like a two hour procedure. It's not COVID, I just took a negative uh, antigen or self test thingy. So yay, at least it's negative. But my throat hurts when I swallow. Um, I feel a little body ache-ish all over. So yeah, I'm definitely getting sick and it sucks that it's the weekend. But this is my lips today. They're starting to peel a lot. I can tell for the touch up, we're gonna have to go in on this part a bit. But um, yeah, they're really tight and dry. Forgive the short day, I don't feel well. I'm gonna go lay back down. But I wanted to show you guys what they look like when I woke up today. Bye. Let's see if your brain can deal with a little randomness. Take the random words we put up on the screen and make it into a sentence that makes sense. Give it a try. Alright guys, so it has been officially one week since I got my lips tattooed. Um, you can see what they look like. Sorry, I'm trying to find the light. So yeah, um, they recommend you get a touch up like four to six weeks after you got your first session. I don't think I will because not for one, that hurt a lot. But also, uh, with the exception of it being like a little lighter on the sides and underneath, I think I'm fine with this because my whole thing was I like my lip shape and all that stuff, but I've always hated how pale my lips are. And given the COVID era that we're still in, I wear my mask everywhere. And it's funny because the one time I didn't was to get this done. And then I got the flu last week. So I'm keeping that mask on. It's nice that I can have it on and like, I don't have to worry about my lips smearing on the inside of a mask or anything. Uh, like, cause you know, I take it down for pictures every now and then, but I know my lips look pale AF. So I'm really looking forward to uh, having this color for the next two years or so. See, there's nothing on my fingers. And then, Nothing, except for the gloss. Like I love the idea of semi-permanent makeup. It just makes your routine a lot easier. You don't have to worry about waking up and looking a certain way or your makeup smeared. Like my eyebrows are now permanent. I've gotten them microbladed like twice, so that's not a thing. But uh, the lips, yeah, I like it. I like it, like I'm glad I did it, but it was definitely a bit more uncomfortable on the pain side than I was expecting. And also I wanna recommend that uh, you drink through straws for like your recovery because I couldn't find a straw. Like I, I tried, but you know, they're bad for the environment anyway. So 
I, I couldn't find a metal one or a cardboard one or anything. And um, I do feel like the color in here is a little bit more faded. And she did tell me that like not to get them wet and water will like mess up the lip color, the retention and the pigment. And it was just weird seeing how it morphed. Like it was really light the first day and swollen. And then it got really dark. And then like it looked like only the outside accepted the pigment. And I was worried that it was going to be like lip liner. But it actually turned out really good. So I recommend it. It worked out for me. The recovery has only been a week and um, the scabs fell off and it was kind of hard. It was so tempting because like you're breathing, you can feel it like, but if you rip off the scab, then you risk ripping out the color too. So you gotta just let it fall off. That was hard for me. So thanks for watching. If you did, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. I know. So I'm in Myeongdong. I just got my nails done. Oh, it's a little noisy. Hold on. Try this again. So I just came to Myeongdong to get my nails done. They're pretty. I'm going to get my eyebrows microbladed. So I'm just going to vlog today. I haven't done this since 2018. And uh, I have to go to Gangnam. Let's go. So I thought I'd offer a little backstory for those who may not know what microblading is. It's basically like an eyebrow tattoo, sort of. They do strokes, but they also do shading. I got mine done in Gangnam, near Gangnam Station in 2018. And uh, it's still here a little bit. I was trying to wait for it to fade a little bit more, but uh, YOLO, kind of feel like I just want to do it again because it lasted me pretty well until like last year. So I'm gonna have my eyebrows done again. Yay. Um, I gave myself the name because my face is round. Like teacher, round the face. I'm like, hmm, funny. <laughs> I just like the, and I just got um, a moon tattoo. <gasps> Uh, oh two God. weeks ago, uh -huh. I, I just I like the moon and stuff. So I feel like I've, <laughs> I I have a connection with the moon. So. I mean, maybe because my name is that, but like, every time I see the moon, like oh, photo, oh, yeah, photo. Oh my God, <laughs> I like this. <laughs> okay, uh, so that's your American number, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah. and I have a Korean one. Oh, girl, you've been here long enough. Well, it hasn't been like consistent. Mm -hmm. Had more uh, uh, hair on the tail, a little bit more here. So this looks a little darker. But when you come back here to touch over, you can make this part darker too. Okay. So don't worry. And then you had previous color and yeah. all that. So I didn't go like go overload it. But anyway, ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. Ooh, they're on fleek. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Okay. See, like, the best thing about this is mm -hmm. when I wash off my makeup, my eyebrows will still be there. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> you like the, the gap? The what? Where the scar is? Yeah. I was worried because I felt like it was getting kind of close. So I was like, don't cover <laughs> the scar, please. Yeah, okay. Beautiful. Yay. <laughs> Okay, so this is my eyebrows the next day. Um, if it focuses, yeah, you can see them up close. You can see the strokes. They're thicker and darker than I want them to be, obviously. But as the days go on, the strokes will shrink, the ink will peel, and it'll be lighter and thinner because ideally, I like them to start far apart like this, which is perfect, the length is good. But I like for them to be like kind of higher raised and then arced up higher. So we're gonna see how they heal over the next few days. So 
thought I'd give you guys some natural light. Okay, so it's been about a month since I got my eyebrows tattooed. This is what they look like. Since it's been a month, today I'm about to go and do the touch-up. So it's a free complimentary touch-up, which most tattoo places usually do that. So I will show you the journey, I guess. Let's go. I like that I got the hairnet this time. <laughs> Alright guys, I am going home. The very sweet lady, very, very, very cool. So, I'm going home. Bye.